What's happening, Internet? Let's talk about web safety. I mean, because you use the web all the time, you're actually using it right now. I mean, can one simply walk into more? I mean, can one browse the web safely? What I'm going to be doing is showing you all the information you need to make sure you're informed so you can browse the web safely. Besides that, I mean, it's not like you installed any viruses or spyware yourself. What's what's that? Did you did did you install that? What I have here is just a simple diagram of how internet activity works from when you over here go to a website on your computer where that information travels. So I just previously told you about HTTPS and encryption. So let's say over here you want to go to a website. So you go to your website and it goes from your computer to your router, to your firewall, to your service provider, to the internet, then to the website, and then that information travels all the way back. And that's just simply navigating one page in a website. So how encryption comes in handy is because your information has to travel all the way over and all the way back just to go through one page. And another thing too is it's, it's going through that route a lot of times because it's a little bit of information just going ping pong, ping pong, back and forth, back and forth. So again, I talk about encryption because you never really know where the physical lines are, how far the information is traveling, and also, what else is out there on the internet because because you don't really know how far that information is traveling and also if there's anybody else listening on the line so one thing to think about is you'll want your information encrypted and secured for instance for a lot of your banking information and anything that's really critical to you because like I said that information is traveling all the way through this line and then all the way back and like I said so encryption is pretty much like a combination lock that you know the code for and the website knows the code for. So you send the combination lock through, they unlock it, put the information on there, lock it again, send it back, you unlock it and you can view the information. Just to give you a basic idea of how information flows on the internet. And again, this is a pretty simplistic basic drawing and there'll be quite a bit more bouncing around and traveling all over the nation, but or the planet. Just to give you an idea of how the internet works. And again, in the previous lesson, we talked about our firewall. So if you don't have a firewall or you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go back one lesson and check that very important lesson out. Now, you want to make sure you pay attention to this next lesson because that's what I'll be covering phishing sites. I'll be showing you how to avoid them, how to notice them, and all a phishing site is is simply a person on the other end that's acting like they are the website you're trying to go to. So to give you an idea of what that is, a phishing site would be if this guy right here was acting like he was this website right here just by tricking you. So I'll be covering that in the next lesson. Stay tuned. We're going to be going further in this lesson. I'm going to make sure you stay safe online. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. And that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.